Hard hats, cranes, construction workers, all signs of development all across Hartford's downtown area. But construction projects also present dangers for the men and women doing the building. So the Hartford Fire Department held a rescue drill to prepare for any possible accidents. Fox 61's Jason Schultz joins us with a look at just how they're doing that. Jason. Well, Brent, there's a reason they put fences and signs up around construction areas like this one at the Hartford Civic Center. They are dangerous places, but there are people that have to work there every day. The Hartford Fire Department knows this, and they want to train to make sure if anyone finds themselves in a dangerous situation, they can respond. Firefighter Vincent Fusco knows this is only a drill. But today, rescuing Frank the dummy is serious business. In this scenario, a construction worker has fallen from the Civic Center renovation site. Teamwork is put to the test, with firefighters carefully managing this less than one inch thick rope, and Lieutenant Cliff Cooper keeping a close eye from the roof. This Hartford Fire Department unit trains for all types of rescues, but today they're away from their training facility. Knowing that in a real world situation. A lot different environment with a lot more hazards uh, that you have to deal with and scenarios you have to address for real world rescue. Firefighters lower themselves to the dangling dummy, get it unhooked from its safety harness, and lowered by rope to safety. And when it's Lieutenant Cooper's turn to perform the rescue... Can you pick him up on that four-to-one and get him off or no? He gets a sense of those real-world hazards. I actually got stuck on the fence trying to maneuver, trying to keep the patient out of harm's way and trying to keep myself out of harm's way. But because of his previous training... As I raised the victim off the chain link fence and then I was able to come down safely. Hartford's bravest hope they never get this call, but the fire chief knows better. Something inevitably will happen where we will have a need for this equipment and this training. Hopefully it doesn't, but with all the construction going on, um, there is a high exposure. It is a possibility, so we have to be ready to deal with it when it happens. Okay. Now, they've been doing this training for several days. They were invited here by the construction company doing the work here at the Civic Center. A spokesperson for Turner Construction says they want to have a good relationship with emergency responders just in case they do have to make that call. They have a relationship with them in advance uh, for uh, better cooperation and communication. Reporting live in Hartford, Jason Schultz, Fox 61 News at 10. All right, Jason, thanks very much. Well, Chief Meteorologist Justin Kiefer joining us now. We've